So, you want to become a programmer and get into the cloud and tech space? Well, you're in the right place. On this channel, I like to explore topics around software and cloud computing. But as you might be able to tell from my packed upload schedule, it can be hard to juggle full-time work as a software engineer, or maybe in your case, it's your school studies, and have time to do much of anything else. So when people say that you should be doing coding projects and extracurricular work, if you want to make it in the software space, you can often find yourself questioning, is it even worth doing at all? In this video, I'm going to explain what I've been working on and why I think everyone should be doing project work in 2024. The project I'm working on is actually a piece I mentioned in one of my prior videos about interesting coding projects that I would recommend. And it's a Netflix light concept I was explaining in that video. If you want to watch, I'll put the link in the description below. But the quick summary is that we want to explore the practical steps involved in storing, serving, and receiving content like video files. At face value, the solution is pretty simple. Set up a Flask app to serve the video content based on a unique video ID, and then create a web client where the user can navigate to a web page with a simple HTML5 player. We'll display the video content back to the user. But what happens if the video is interrupted and the user wants to return to the video at the correct timestamp? Or how can you drop the quality of the video if the internet connection degrades during the streaming of the video? It's these little rabbit holes you go down when you're doing a project that makes them so worthwhile in my opinion. It's why in the context of this project, I've built this ever increasing complexity into the project structure itself by breaking down the solutions into difficulty levels which is a handy tip that I'd recommend anyone engaging on a new project of unknown complexity as it forces you to break down the tasks into its most simple and clear purposes and then to build increasingly complex functionality on top of the strong foundational bones of the project. But back on topic, I think attempting to come up with a solution to all of the questions that you'll encounter whilst working on a project are actually quite applicable in both your day-to-day -day work as an established software engineer as well as in your journey into becoming a software engineer. On a side note, the Brisbane office has this cool hidden room that when you press in that book on the bookshelf, which is actually the first ever book sold on Amazon, it opens this cool little nifty meeting space. But yeah. When I first started at Amazon, I actually thought I was about to be trapped in this room when the door shuts like this, but thankfully there's a open door button on the left-hand side. But back on topic, I think if we're talking about the benefits of project work, if we take the work that I do at AWS, for example, it's largely around migrations and modernization of infrastructure. So when I try and solve a problem with my fake Netflix HTML client or solve for issues in my Flask app, I'm learning skills in a vertical that I otherwise might not have if I had just relied on the work that I do as part of my role to actually teach it to me. And the other great thing about these projects is that it teaches you what's required to take a concept and turn it into a functioning piece of software, which maybe even someone will use one day if you're lucky. Often in our day-to-day -day life as software engineers, we work in large teams that distribute the responsibilities of a project amongst a number of people. So you can actually see this in practice by the sheer amount of meetings that take up my working day in this video. Uh, but that said, being the sole person building, driving and delivering the product as a whole is a completely different beast to the work that you'll do in your day-to-day -day job as an engineer. And if you can pull it off, you'll have a much better understanding of the full stack delivery of software and how all the little parts that we work on individually fit together to form a complete software product. All of this to say that if you're interested in either getting a job as a developer or improving your technical skills, subscribing and liking this video is a great idea. Oh, and I guess projects can be a pretty powerful tool as well. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.